Thank you. Now that's a tough act to follow, though. I want to talk to little Buck. I need to know the moves. See, that was great. Whoa. Wow, what talent here today. And uh, thank you. Thank you all for coming. I am going to go right across the hall to talk about gun violence in a moment, so, and, uh, which I have to do. But to all of the exceptional artists who are here, it's an honor to be uh, with you, your, your mom, Matt, little Buck, uh, Christine, and the rest of you. But to all of the advocates here today, thank you. You are so critical to the effort that we need, and we're grateful for what you do uh, to, be, to be able to be here in this institution and tell our colleagues about the value of the arts in our society and in our lives. I want to quote to you one of my heroes, former Congresswoman Barbara Jordan, and I quote, the arts are not a frill. The arts are a response to our individuality in our nature and help to shape our identity. Art has the potential to unify, she said. It can speak in many languages without a translator. The arts do not discriminate. The arts can lift us, and they do. They lift our spirits, as we just so witnessed. So I want to tell you that, uh, and I say this as a member of Congress, and my other colleagues are here this morning, you should never underestimate the difference that an advocacy day like this can make. Having smart and passionate and knowledgeable men and women who show up at your office gently but astutely explain the benefits of NEA funding. It makes a difference and do not take no for an answer when you go to these offices. It is the arts that bring the beauty, creative genius of our culture to the lives of all Americans, young and old, rich and poor, urban and rural. This is about our humanity, and it is a goal worthy of our support. Many years ago, I chaired the New Haven, Connecticut Arts Council, and our folks just said, all right, New Haven, all right, Connecticut, yay. Uh, I, you know all. You know all of the the, the 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 specifics of what the arts does. It leverages the private dollars. My view on this is: if we can't get them on humanity, let's get them on the economics uh, and the success of the economics of the arts. I'm proud to support the NEA, uh, and uh, will be working hard with my colleagues uh, to make sure that we can continue that funding. You need. We need help from you with some of our colleagues. They do not believe that the federal government should contribute to the arts. Sequester deep, indiscriminate, automatic cuts. Recently enacted, cut the NEA by $7.3 million. Previous years, the majority's budget drafted by our colleague Paul Ryan, passed by the House last week, eliminates, eliminates the NEA. That funding is gone. They call it a handout to the rich. I was going to quote to you, but I don't have time. Someone should get, Bob, you should get the quote uh, for Mr. Ryan about funding for the arts and the humanities and the Corporation for National Broadcasting. He says, they are generally enjoyed by people of higher income levels, making them a wealth transfer from poorer to wealthier citizens. This is not the role, he says, of the federal government. He says that culture is only for the rich. And in fact, it is about saying, in essence, that we are a country without a soul. So I want you to really, I leave you with one thought, and that is another quote and from that is from John Kennedy. We cannot let, he didn't say this, I'm saying this to you today. We cannot let the NEA disappear. We cannot. And as President Kennedy said, this country cannot afford to be materially rich and spiritually poor. And that's why he pushed for an America that will, quote, steadily raise the standards of artistic accomplishment and which will steadily enlarge cultural opportunities for all of our citizens. Because he said, after the dust of centuries has passed over our cities, we will be remembered not for the victories or defeats in the battle or in politics, but for our contribution to the human 
spirit. Thank you for your contribution to the human spirit. <laughs>